trying to separate uh, our larvae from the substrate, from the dust, which is the residue that was left from their food. So we are using different sizes of wire mesh. You can see how fast using different sizes of wire mesh so that we can be able to obtain our pure pure larvae leaving the residue behind and uh, it will also interest you to know that this is the residue which uh, automatically it has become uh, vermicompost biofertilizer this type of biofertilizer that has been acted upon by these maggots and uh, it is very very fertile very rich in nutrient it has almost all uh, the components there this calcium uh, which is gotten from the, the the shells after metamorphosis the shells that they leave behind there's also the presence of their pups their saliva and all the activities has resulted to this uh, vermicompost so this is also useful and um, you can just use it to grow your your crop plants now this is the one we separated earlier, you can see purely black soldier flies. You can see them. You can see them. So are purely black soldier flies. They are ready for consumption. You can either feed them directly to your animals, your fish, your chickens, broilers, layers, turkey, and so on, or dry it and formulate. Your concentrate for your birds, your pigs, your dogs, and so on. Now, interestingly, they also have a way of separating themselves to make the work easier for us. You can see an example here where they are trying to separate. Once it is dry, they want a drier environment. So they try to separate from uh, the, the substrate, telling you that we are done eating whatever it is useful for us here we actually either want to con to have another new meal or to tell you that we are ready for consumption so it's easier for us to just you can see how they are separating themselves away from the substrate so it's easier to actually fetch them here like this and it's just pure so some may be asking how do you separate there are different ways to do it and interestingly enough, this larvae also have a way of uh, helping us to, to 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 do that to achieve that easily. These ones are still here. We'll also be hoping to separate them. They are ready for consumption as well. You can see, uh, you can see them. Okay, these ones are still younger. They were hatched barely about seven days ago. You can see they're still coming up. They're still feeding, actively feeding. So we are feeding them with rice bran. These ones are being fed with rice bran. You can see these ones too. These ones are a little older, but they are still actively feeding too. Let's come up a little see yeah we have this one also feeding also feeding them you can see maggots there let's check out this ones here whoa these ones are still feeding too still coming up still feeding too okay um, Are also feeding, still feeding, still feeding too. Yeah, so 
Thank you very much. If you're interested to know more, you can just hit me up and I'll be glad to teach you. Be razor short. This here is the future of integrated farming. Future of integrated farming. They are solely produced from waste. Waste. You don't need to buy anything. And then you have your crude protein. About 47% crude protein that can be used to supplement your animal feed. This alone can reduce the cost of your animal feed by more than more than 50%. Yes. By more than 50%. So, you can see. Separation work going on here. And, um, well, see you later. Bye.